Hey hello friends welcome to my channel in this Azure DevOps tutorial series today let's discuss about git branches okay the main intention of this playlist is not to cover detailed concepts of git where else I really feel you know if you have to master Azure DevOps it is really important to understand all the git concepts okay so that's why I have made another video around git you know in this video we'll dig in deeper about uh, git branches this is a continuation of our previous video where we discussed about introduction to git how do you push your first code to git and uh, and uh, what is a git architecture okay so this is just the continuation of our previous video so let's see what is git branches and how do you work with git branches all right so what is a git branch okay so branch is a particular area where a developer works okay so if i have to explain it to layman so branch is is, is a place where you can uh, own that place uh, for development and you can combine it with other branches okay so let's see an example okay let's go to our azure devops so here is my project that we have been working on project online devops demo here i will go to branches so if i go to branches you can see we have a main branch here so this is a, a master branch which we will be using for our repository all right so here uh, currently i do not have any branch you know you can create a new branch by clicking on this particular option here in remote okay so remember this is our remote repository okay so i can create a new branch so let's call it as um, branch branch one okay branch let uh, april 06 okay so this is the name of the branch i am giving and i need to create a branch new branch based on our main okay so that is what it is selected and i'm clicking on create okay you can see now my new branch is created branch april 06 is created you can see other details here like we have the commit uh, on what commit have you uh, created this branch who is the author okay what author date you are how many commits behind head of this in this particular branch and what is the status and what is the pull request details so you can see a lot of other details when you create a branch in ui okay in the remote repository all right so uh, so this is one way and if i go to repos here again you can see my branch will be displayed here branch april 06 okay this is this is this way you can create a branch in a remote repository okay we'll come to the remote repository later but here we'll try to uh, understand how to create branch how to switch branches and how to create branches in local first okay so here let me open my git bash so let me go to my local repository so this is my local repository where i have my code so let me go to this repository cd so now you can see now i am in master branch okay so this is the my master branch that i'll be working on so if i have to switch to uh, i know so this is the main branch right so in case if i have to work on any new requirement say i am developing a new code generally what developers do is they will create their own branch and start working on their branch okay so they will uh, no, it is not a best practice to work on master most of the case you do not have access to but as a developer it is always a best practice to create your new branch and start working on it okay so first let's see what are the branches that are existing we'll give git branch command and try to list all the branches you can see these are the branches that i have created okay these are the branches i have created in the past you can see i have listed all those here Okay, so in case if i have to switch to a new branch okay what i can do is so say if i have to switch to a branch say i have a branch called april 06 okay so here what, what i can do is i can use git check out the branch name april 06 okay so here it is so uh, the branch is already existing and i have switched to a new branch you can see that i have now switched to the branch called april 06 okay so this is one way how you can switch to an existing branch where else if you have to create a new branch you can give a command called git checkout 
let's try to give an incorrect one like non existing branch okay so non existing branches let's say uh, sample one okay so you can see this is not existing so what if we if the branch is not existing then you have to give a command hyphen b before your branch name so what it will do is it will create a new branch for you and it switch to our new branch you can see it is switch one here okay so now issue the git branch command again you can see my branch sample one is higher listed here since i am currently in this branch it is highlighting it in green and, and there's a star be, uh, before that as well okay so this is how you can create a new branch okay and then there's an alternate way uh, to do this as well instead of checkout you can use git switch to so in case if you want to move to switch to another branch say git switch git switch and let's call it as if i have to switch to branch 2 okay git oops git switch hmm, what happened git switch branch branch 2 let's say i want to switch to branch 2 you can use this switch command to okay git instead of checkout you can use switch to okay this is all this will this one will also work so in case if you have to switch to a non-existing branch then you have to provide hyphen c branch let's call it as sample 2 here it is it, it switched to a new branch by creating a new one okay this way you can use git checkout and switch to uh, uh switch to to you to move to a existing branch and non-existing branch all right so this is what we want i wanted to cover about uh switch branch uh, how to switch branches in local okay um so next we will see how to check out a remote branch on git okay the point is so now we discussed about how do we work um, with branches on local where else if you if i go to my branches here all right if you go to my branches here all the local branches that i have created will not display here because that's not a remote branch all what i have created is a local branch it will exist in your local where else here it is uh, this is a remote place right so how do you switch to a remote branch so let's say i have created a branch called branch AP apr06 right branch april 06 if i have to switch to this branch say get checkout branch X, it will not work and the reason is because i uh, know it is residing in repository so whenever you want to switch to a branch which is residing in the uh, uh, remote okay you have to do a git fetch first so this is a very important step to note okay first you have to issue git fetch so once you uh, issued the git fetch command you can see in the um, console here where it shows there's a new branch called origin branch a, uh, apr06 okay so now if i issue that git checkout command again you can see now it switched to my new branch which is uh, remote branch branch 06 branch april 06 okay it, you can see it switch to a new branch branch apr setup to track remote branch a branch apl j6 from origin origin means remote okay whatever we are seeing here is generally what we call as origin okay so this is how you can uh, check out um, a remote branch into your local okay so the iphone t option checkout stands for in checkout stands for track you know, and it is used to create your branch and setting up the upstream branch automatically to the remote branch all right um, finally we'll see how to check out new branch from a specific commit okay earlier in a couple of slides earlier we saw how to switch branches in local and we saw about how to uh, check out the remote branch on git and now we will see how do we check out a new branch from a specific commit okay so this this might be this is little advanced okay um you know in case you uh, know if 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 there is a point where you have where you are trying to debug 
you know uh, currently uh, you know you created code and uh, it is not working whereas in your previous commit it was working fine so as a developer what um, you or she want is they want to uh, switch to a specific branch from a start point from a commit okay so in this kind of situation let's see what we can do okay first we have to um uh, uh list list down the list of commits so if i have to get use this git checkout type and we branch from a starting point we have to understand what is a starting point starting point is nothing but a commit okay so let me issue this git online sorry what is command git log online double hyphen right graph what is the git log hyphen only sorry online i made a mistake online graph okay now okay it is really difficult to track it from here because currently i'm in branch april 06 right let me go to a very simple branch maybe let me go to um git checkout because currently you know it is not aligned because it do not have this code and all there are a lot of differences between the branch april 06 and the existing branch let me go to say sample 1 okay now i have switched to sample 1 now let's try to issue this command again here we have um okay let's let's try to switch it to see what we can do since we have created quite a lot of branches currently now for our demo purpose uh, when i issue this git log online grab command it might look little messy but do not worry what our ultimate intention is to uh, check out a new branch from a specific commit right so first let's go to main so currently we are already in main so if you are not in your specific branch you can give get check out main and then so now we are currently on the main branch so now what we can do is you can issue this git log online hyphen graph command so now if i issue this you can see it is giving a lot of uh, uh, details like commit details so currently the if you look at head head is the main so this is part, this is the commit currently the main branch is using okay so you have to refer to this head here okay there are other a few uh, commits as well like 0287 cc4 and 60 da 4b0 so there are a lot of other commits too say for example you no know, uh, if i have to uh, switch to a different commit okay because in my previous commit it was working say in my 0287 cc4 commit it was working currently in this new commit it is not working means what i can do is i can check out to a new branch with this specific commit instead of main i can go to the specific commit say how we can do this is git check out hyphen b say uh, sample 1 to 3 let me call it a sample 1 to 3 and this commit uh, here 0 to it's seven year cc4 so now if i issue this now a new branch is created okay we have checked out a new branch based on this particular commit which it is 0287 cc4 in order to verify if we are correctly um, uh, moved out or not what you can do is you can issue this command again and now you can see the head is currently pointing out to the latest commit whatever we are doing so 0287 cc4 okay so here earlier it was pointing to 2629297 here we are now pointing to 0287 cc4 okay so this is how you can um, check out a new branch from a specific commit okay so i hope you guys understood about uh, get how to switch how to create a new branch how to switch branch how to check out remote branch on git and how to check out a new branch from a specific commit okay so i would suggest you to try this on your own in case if you have any queries please let me know in the comment section if you like this video please subscribe and follow my channel thank you